We've covered how to create regions of interest both with atlases and with contrasts that we've run through first and second level analyses. Now what we can do is we can actually just create an ROI using something like Microsoft Paint. Right? So you remember like when you uh, you kind of have a, a crush on that girl in school, and you, you you didn't really you know talk to her. You just instead you know wrote stuff in MS Paint and you send it to her, kind of like a joke, to get her attention. It's kind of like that. So you can do this through FSL View. If you just open up one of these standardized spaces, okay. So let's select this average 152 brain, and let's say we want to create a mask based on. Again, just like Microsoft Paint, you know, we just fill in places that we want for our region of interest and make that one and zero otherwise. So that when we actually run the region of interest, we only extract data from those voxels which have been painted on. To do this, go to File and Create Mask or Apple C and you'll see this, excuse me, this mask tool gets unlocked. Click on that and notice here you have First of all, the pen value. So we might have one color corresponding to one mask and another color corresponding to another mask if you want to draw multiple masks on the same brain. And also you can increase the pen size. Okay, Guys are really crazy about this. So we can just increase the number until we have, say, five voxels at a time being created. Okay, so I'll just show you how this is done. Let's say we want to create a mask of the anterior cingulate cortex. So we can draw this pen around here. Now we could create a bigger circle, for example. We could use a bucket, just like an MS Paint, and fill that stuff in. Okay. If you screw up and you go outside, then the whole thing gets plotted out. I'm sure you're all familiar with that, but you can undo it. Okay. So that's really all there is to it. And you can erase stuff. You can make things, you know, zero, zero them out. And by increasing your pen size, you can make this a lot easier to do. It also gets a little bit messier, but it's just the trade-off. Okay, so I'm, you know, roughly the anterior area. Okay, I'm happy with that. And all you need to do is make sure you do it within each orthogonal view. So make sure you do it in the coronal section, make sure you do it in the you know, transverse section, things like that. Okay, fill in all those gray matter voxels and just have fun. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. And once you're done with one slice, remember to alter your position from another slice. So for example, on the transverse slice, I'm to the left or the right, and you can see that I need to fill in this slice now with more voxels. And do that until you have a good 3D representation of the region that you want to create as a mask. Like I said, this doesn't take that much time. Or maybe it does. After a while, you just kind of zone out. <laughs> it's kind of fun. All right, so now I'm finished creating my region of interest, and now I would like to save it out. So make sure, first of all, that this mask is highlighted, and then click on File and Save As, and we can call this ACC Mask. And that's all there is to it. It's just like you created all the other masks. So now you have three different ways to create regions of interest, and now you're ready to use FeedQuery to extract that data.